Hi everyone, welcome to the Lampy and Kiefer YouTube channel. My name is Kendra and I'm a hearing healthcare professional. Today's video is going to be all about our TV media accessory um, and I'm going to show you all how you can pair them to your hearing devices if you're at home. Um, so for this demonstration, I'm using a set of Starkey Livio Edge AI um, these are the receiver and the canal style. They're also rechargeable. So I do have them in the charging base right now. Um, in order to pair them to our TV media device, you will need your charging base. If your hearing aids are battery powered, you'll just have to um, open and close your battery doors at a certain point during the pairing process. But I will walk you all through everything um, today so you will be comfortable doing this at home on your own. Um, so I have the hearing aids here um, and then I will show you this is our TV media device that is set up for our 2.4 gigahertz hearing aids. So those are our Livio AIs, our Livios or our Livio Edge model hearing aids um, that operate on this platform. Um, so for this TV media device to go to your TV, you do need to have either an optic link cable or you can have the red and white cables that, um, that pair that connect to your TV for the video and the um, audio um, output. Um, and so those just connect in the back port of the TV media device. It is labeled for you. Um, so A will be for your power cord um, that comes with the TV media device. So that'll be in your box. There's a power cord that plugs in to this A port and then you plug it into a power outlet um, in your computer. The B port looks like a phone jack. That's for your optic link cable if you have one. The C port is for your red and white cables. Um, it's typically one cable that goes in the C port and then it feeds out to um, a red and then a white, one for the audio and then one for the visual. Um, and then this final bar here, um, this is just a switch. So if you have one hearing aid, you only want the one ear to be routed there. Or if you have multiple devices paired to your media device, then you want to have it switched over um, to the two where there are two little ears on that port. So that's important for your setup when you're connecting everything to the TV. Um, so I'll get right, um, right on into showing you all how our TV media device is set. Um, so I'm just going to angle this so you can see our TV um, and I've already got a device connected to the TV. So I will show you all how to pair your hearing aids. Okay, so the first thing we want to do is turn the device on. So your power button is here, right in the top right hand corner of the device is your power button underneath that power button is your bluetooth pairing button next to the bluetooth pairing button you've got a volume down option and then above that you've got the volume up option so i'm going to go into the power button and you'll see the light flash blue when it's powered on. Next, I'm going to put our TV media device into a Bluetooth pairing mode. So I'm going to push and hold that Bluetooth button until it starts to flash. A blue light should start to flash. Um, and now you see that blue light is flashing. At this point, you want to remove your hearing aids from your charging base. And you want to have them at least six inches away from the device. So you wanna keep it in as close to the device as possible, but no more than six inches away from it. And then eventually you'll see this blue light 
flash green solid and then it'll flash green again because it flashes green twice one for the right hearing aid and then again for the left hearing aid so once you get two green lights you know that the device has been successfully paired to your hearing aid at that point um, if for any reason maybe you get one green light and one red light then that means that the hearing aid for some one of the hearing aids is not paired if you get just one like a solid red light you don't see any green lights then that means neither of the hearing aids have been paired um, so at this point you should be able to hear the device stream your television in your ears and if you do not hear the device in your ears, you can just double tap. That also has to be activated by your hearing healthcare professional. Um, it's usually a double tap mode that activates the accessory for you. Or if you have a remote control, you can activate it using the remote control. Or the other option is through the Thrive app in the accessories tab. Um, so I'll show you what that looks like in your app at home, um, how to just activate the accessory from the Thrive app. Okay, so as promised, I will show you all how to open up your Thrive app and access our TV media streamer within the app. We are on our home screen right now, which is why down in the bottom left, you can see the little blue house. We're going to navigate over to our accessories menu over to the right where you see that little remote control um, with the four dots. So now that little remote is highlighted blue because we are in our accessories tab. As you can see, our TV streamer is paired to our devices, which is why you have that TV at the top of the screen. So to activate it, we're just going to press that play button and now you can also see that that play button can also be a stop button if you want to disable the TV media from streaming to your hearing aids. Down at the bottom, we have our microphone volume, which we can turn up by dragging our finger to the right or back down by dragging the finger to the left. We've also got our streaming volume, which controls the volume of the TV media device itself. So the volume, the microphone volume at the bottom controls the hearing aids microphone. So what external sounds you can hear outside of your TV streaming. Um, if you wanted to hear the doorbell or your family members while they're sitting next to you, that would be our microphone volume. Um, if you're just wanting to focus on what the television is saying, then that's our streaming volume. So that's what you want to adjust up or down as you need to. So you can play with those and set them at your comfort level um, as you choose to. Also, our stream boost memory is the default memory. So you will see that under current memory whenever you are using your TV media streamer. Um, and then, like I said, if you would want to stop streaming, if you don't want the TV to be in your ears anymore, you would just double tap that play button um, and it turns into a, a stop button.